Hello everyone, this is Dutch and Aaron. Welcome to the second episode of Let's Play A World of Ice and Fire. Well, as many of you remember from the last episode, we were on our way to meet Lord Rob Stark and we met him and he gave us a mission. Let's check what that mission is. The mission is Winter is Coming. You must find the farm north of Winterfell and remove the Wildling Raiders. Once complete, return to the King Rob Stark. Now, before carrying out this mission, we'll s try to recruit some soldiers into our little army to be able to beat them, of course. So, we're going to go around and see if there are any villages nearby that we can recruit soldiers from. But before that, we're going to enter Winterfell. Love that little scene. So there is a competition. There is a tournament. And well, you must realize that it's a great source of income. So we'll try to compete in the competition, of course. And we're not going to bet just yet because it's the beginning of the game and we're not well equipped. So we're just going to enter it. We'll not place a bet on ourselves. And if we're lucky enough to win the tournament, we'll gain some amount of money, but not as much as if we bet on ourselves. So we're going to fight in the next round. There are tournament options that you can change. Click the Disable Expert difficulty. So you can water it down a bit to cancel the Expert difficulty, but we're not going to, well, because <laughs> I like a little challenge. So we're going to fight in the next round let's see who we have three man teams I suppose and one down let's see about the second there's a good chance that we'll take him down they don't know just yet because we might die before that on one. Oh, that not in my favor. One more hit, I'm going to, and I'm down. Well, this was expected because, as I've said before, we're not well equipped to <clears throat> fight in a tournament just yet. So, oh, there is still an option to fight in the next round. You have been bested in this melee, but the Master of Ceremonies declares a recognition of your skill and bravery, allowing you to take part in the next round. That's good news. Let's fight in the next round. See what we'll do. What we can do. Well, the stones won't well, want too much damage against these opponents. But since we have some spare, let's try it now. It does not work. We're going to take a for an axe. Can we take at least this one? Our axe is too slow. If I can take this one, if I can kill this. Banana, I will be able to take his sword. Come on. Come on. Yep. Let's take his shield and sword. And victory is ours. Okay. We're allowed to go to the next round. So fight in that one. But <laughs> the bad news is the sword we just pick up, picked up will be not much of use then. I can't even damage him because of his powerful enemy. What am I going to do? Oh, one is down and... <laughs> oh, that one. Let's go. We've got a grey sword. Let's see if we can deal some damage. I could have beaten them. I could have beaten them, but the second one <laughs> outbested me. You have been eliminated from the tournament. Well, that's okay. As the only man to remain undefeated this day, Sir Azni Cattleback wins the lists and the glory of this tournament. Okay, let's continue our journey. We're gonna take a look at the market, see if there is anything available that we can afford to buy. We're going to check the armors. Well, uh, some of you might remember it. We did plunder a cracked tower shield from our last fight. But we're not able to use it just yet because we don't have the required shield level. Mm. 
Let's see what we've got. Trade with the factions. Faction blacksmith. No, we're not. We don't belong, belong to a faction just yet. So we're going to. Let's inspect the weaponsmith. See if there is anything we can buy. Rusty Amex Wood costs 726 silver stacks. We have 42. Let's so just let's just continue. We're not gonna be able. But I'm going to fight around. Let's see. In the training grounds. Yeah. Let's speak to the tournament master and. Sure, let's do this. Okay, let's see what we can do. So the first goal is to take this guy's sword because this axe sucks. We got the armoring sword. I hope we're gonna be able to fight against this. One down. Actually, I've beaten three opponents already. This is looking good. Let's throw up our stones, throwing stones to be able to get the, that extra shield for your slot. Ouch! No, 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 no. I don't like this. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on, man. Opponents beaten six. That was a good fight you put up there. Yeah, sure. It's the 30 silver stacks. Let's try it again. And... Come on. You got an axe too? I need a sword, man. I need a sword, buddy. Let's let them kill each other. <coughs> See if we can steal a kill. Yep, we got our sword. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ha! Huh. The one on the back is trying to kill the one on the front. You thought you could kill me? Hmm? See if there's there are shields. Yep, we got a shield. <coughs> Ooh, 15 critical extra damage. There's a critical system. If you hit him on the head or in the back, it cause extra damage. You'll pay for this! And we're level 3 already. Okay, one more level to go before we can use this shit. Use that shit. In Mountain Blade mechanics, you're nearly every time fucked if two, two persons at once keep coming to get you. That was on me. That must be a very good fighter. So they're only one blow away from dying, one hit away. You need to be careful. I don't want to get caught in the middle. Let's steal. No, 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 no. Come on, I don't want. Let me. Shield. Drop these stones. Don't wanna 
as well. Take our extra shield. Okay, let's go. Ah, uh, no, not two spearmen. I need to kill this one before the one on the back reaches us. Like this. Okay, I can't get you. So we've beaten 15 opponents already, and there are only 12 remaining. These are champion fighters. Male equipment. Now this one is dangerous. We need to be very, very careful. Ah. Let me just let you fight it out. I'm just going to wait over here. <laughs> Kill each other. Okay, one champion fighter took one, took out another, and another. There are two more champion fighters. Actually, three more. One will die, I hope. Okay, there are two remaining. If I can take the this one, I may be able. To. I don't. I don't think that I can win this one. And I was right. So close. So close. Seventy-five silver stacks. Not bad. And it's time to leave Winterfell to advance the quest and reach that village that Rob talked about. So let's see which way is north first. This is the way. We're just going to travel the north to the north. But we'll take a detour, I guess, to recruit. No, 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 we don't need to take a detour. There are some villages ahead of us. Our health is at 92%. It's more than enough. Hmm, they're northern classmen. No, I don't want to tangle with those just now. We can take on looters, but not well equipped soldiers. Not right now at the moment. You're wounded. Masters, masters in various castles can treat the wounds. Well, uh, we've talked about the wounds uh, at the first episode. The wounds, if you don't heal them in time, they become permanent. And they decrease your skills and attributes and such. So you need to be careful, watchful for them. And the maester co costs quite a bit of money to heal the wound. It's midnight, let's visit the Long Lake. Recruit some soldiers and camp there for the night. Huh. There are these little events that you encounter as you travel around Westeros and you've, you're given few options and one of them will result in a negative way while the other results in a neutral or a positive way so you need to choose carefully you see, you see a raven fall in the distance it looks like it may have been injured should you go and investigate it could be important I will go find a raven it looks as it if it has been hit by an arrow I had best keep away so we're we'll going to go with the first option you gained one renown you find the raven and notice tied to its uh, it is a small piece of parchment with the seal of the hand of the king the letter reads this letter is for the urgent attention of Lord Stannis Baratheon it is of great shame that I write you this letter I Lord at Ed Eddard Stark hand of the king and protector of the realm have you news of your brother's passing this morning due to the bastards of King Robert Baratheon you Lord Stannis Baratheon are the rightful heir uh, to the throne and the one true king of seven kingdoms as soon as you arrive in King's Landing I will surrender my position and pass all titles to you you decide to take the letter to King Stannis Baratheon throw away the letter and never mention it again take the letter to Lord Tywin Lannister we're going to take the letter to King Stannis Baratheon as it is the right thing to do new quest taken there are poachers and two of them Oi, you! It was us that got that, got that bird. Now give it back or else. The two against seven, is it really? I guess the Lannister have put a pretty penny on each raven shot out of the sky. Okay, here, take it. Not something I want to be involved in anyway. We're going to go with the first option. Outlaws are deteriorated from minus 15 to minus 18. That's right, I'm sure we'll get a pretty penny for your head on a spike too. We'll see about that. Charge the enemy. They don't stand a chance, by the way. We're just going to order the soldiers to follow us. Find the enemy. And kill them before they even reach us. Let's see where they are.
Let's order our soldiers to charge. Well, they will not be able to take us on right now. Let's see how it goes. Yep, there they are. No, yep, there they are. Follow me, I don't want to miss out. Taking at least one of them. Oh, they're shooting arrows already. Let's get him! Shields up, shields up. Grazing already. Or is it a tactical retreat? <laughs> oh, he's trying to flank me. One down, killed by an archer, and the other is on the run. No, he's not. And the other one as well, killed by the archer. Battle one. Let's see. Enemy casualties, none. Bury the dead, gather and share any loot. As is common. Okay. We don't have any items that we can loot, but at least we've got some experience and money. Let's see if we can recruit some new soldiers from the Long Lake. Recruit volunteers. Five North peasants. Not bad. Okay, we're, there are 12 of us. Now, let's head to the village that Rob talked about. Let's see where it is. I don't s seem to be able to find it. You must find the farm north of Winterfell and room with the Wildling Raiders. Once complete, return to King Nob's Rob Nob's Rob Stark. Come on. Where is that village? Last Hearth, Training Village, Carhold, Sharpstow, Mall's Town, Queen's Head. Old God Worshipers, Ranger Patrol. Was this the village? Or am I mistaken? Oh, Northern Clansmen. Now, Clansmen are dangerous. If they see us, they will follow. Ha! Huh, there is the farmstead. It's hidden. Okay, let's enter it. Approach the farm. Follow me. You want to move very carefully. You must rock, push back the raiders. Okay. Oh, there is a. There's quite a party. They're quite crowded. We'll see how it goes. They're heading towards the village. And there are some farmers that are attacking them. But it will not end well for them. Let's see what we can do. How many men we've got? We've got four. Should be more than enough. Former killed by Wildling Hunter. Another one not unconscious. Oh, there are a lot of... A lot of... Archers. Soldier and men. The charge. 
and our shield is about to crumble. So we're going to try to dodge the arrows, and we're not very. Ouch! Ouch! Successful at that. One killed. Try the other one. Oh, that was a widening. On, on, da, 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 da. And we're killed. Well, we have failed this mission as it seems. What a letdown. You must find the farm north of Winterfell and remove the Wildling Raiders. Once complete, return to King Nor Nor Rob North Stark. Rob Stark. This quest has failed. Talk to Rob Stark. Rob Stark and explain the situation. Well, we're not going to give up just yet. These things could happen. <laughs> well, what can I say? Even on lower difficulty. The game still proves a challenge. We should have been better prepared, but we were actually. We had 12 men with us, but the game only allowed us to take four of them with us. Let's return to Winterfell and see how it unfolds. There is the Winterfell. So this should be a lesson for me first and you the second. If you like this mod and if you're going to download it, be careful about doing the missions because they're not repeatable, repeatable and you need to be well equipped to do them. Okay, let's enter Winterfell. Speak to the Lord. I keep pronouncing his name in a weird way so excuse me about that this is the lord's hole and Rob is not here so he must be out on the field we don't have enough money to treat our wounds we're going to exit the town and try to find him well he is not visible as of yet so we're going to ask one of the lords where he is Let's do continue. We're at 30%, 31% health. So we need to be watch. We need to watch out against bandits and such. Let's see who. Ha! Huh, there is the Lord Rob, Rob Stark. There is the Rob. We meet again, Nationeer. What is it? Your Grace, there were too many. The farmers, children, women, they're all dead. I'm afraid I failed you. Uh, then I was too quick to presume you were a capable leader. I have no more need for you or your failure, Stashinir. I'm sorry, Your Grace. It won't happen again. Please allow me a chance to redeem myself and restore your faith in me. Very well, Tashinir, but if you fail me again, we won't be talking of such favorable terms. I hope I've made that clear enough. Of course, Your Grace, I won't fail you again. We received a raven from the wall yesterday. It seems the Black Brothers require more men for some reason or other. Go to the wall and find the Lord Commander and see if he can shed some light on the situation. Oh, give him the scroll. Yes, Your Grace, I'll leave as soon as I'm ready. Do you have any task for me? No, I've already got my task, so let's have a look at the quests. This quest have failed. Winter is coming, part two. King Rob Stark has asked you to travel to Castle Black, find the Lord Commander, and see if he can shed any light on the current situation. So we got our second mission. Seems that scripted version allows us to continue with the quest line, even if you fail the first one. And it seems likely, let, let me tell you that, if you don't want if you don't want to spend hours and hours in the training ground, so, well, increase your attributes and your level, you're bound to fail a one time or two. 
So, we're going to rest a bit to heal our health. To heal, actually. And start our second quest. Let's wait for some time in the Winterfell Inn. Actually, let's check out the inn. See what is going on over here. We got Lord and Ray, Norden Levy that we can rent. Brienne of Toth. Really, Brienne, is that you? Let's speak to you. What do you want? Merely to pass, merely to pass the time, my lady. If you are not otherwise engaged, oh well. If you must know, I shall tell you. I am a woman wanting to be a knight. Unfortunately, can don't see so kindly. Perhaps you're in need of assistance. Following yourself and your companions, I could prove myself. I can offer you opportunities to prove yourself worthy of a female warrior. Then I shall accept your offer. But believe me, I will prove myself to be the best warrior in your ranks. I shall be pleased to fight in your shield wall. But I warn you, if you ask me to gather the firewood or cook a meal, you will not like the consequences. So believe me, I will not... My giant friend, no fear friend, you're a warrior and you'll be treated accordingly. And I will fight with you, your enemies, but first, I'm in need of 1185 silver stack. It always comes down to the money, right? <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. But Brienne, I'll be coming for you, dear. So there's a tavern keeper. And we've got the traveling merchant. We need to find the ransom broker to earn some money and sell the two slaves, the two prisoners that we have with us. Let's exit the inn. Wait here for some time. Three silver stacks. You capture a passing raven and notice tied to its a small piece of parchment wrapped in golden string. The letter reads, I pronounce the King Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North, has been beheaded in lieu of treason, as Eddard's heir, Lord Rob Stark, has in turn been announced as the King in the North. Well, bye bye, Ed. Let's leave Winterfell, and we're at 100%. We're ready for some adventure. Let's see. First, we're going to hunt for some bandits to get a good equipment or two. Have some loot, sell them, earn some silver stacks, get a better equipment, gain some level, improve ourselves a bit, then we're going to go continue with quest line. And if we're lucky enough, we'll encounter some of the characters that we know from the show in the game, actually. With that said, we're at the end of yet another episode. We'll see how things turn out in the coming videos. If you like my videos, don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all later in the next video.